Hey, what up guys? Thank you for watching The Walking Dead Wednesday. And this week on the channel, we're talking about Lee Everett and how long he was passed out or unconscious for while in the cop car. Okay, so let me take you back to season one, episode one, explain what I'm talking about here. Uh, Lee's being transported to the prison, and in this moment, the police officer hits a walker and runs his car off the highway. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Fucking this other time! And now in this moment right here, Lee gets injured and falls unconscious. Now, originally when I first saw this scene, I thought Lee may have been out for several hours, maybe a day, probably at the max. But now putting more thought to it, he may have been out for several days or even a week of out of commission time here. And the two things that make me think this is the spread of the walkers and also Lee's lack of knowledge of what a walker even is. Now, this situation right here, if it has been several days or a week has gone past, would give Lee a very similar beginning storyline as Rick Grimes had in the comic book and the television show. Now, Rick here, involved in the police altercation, got injured on the job, went to the hospital unconscious, woke up, the whole world went to hell. Okay, there was hardly any signs of life. Every neighborhood that he walked into had a full-blown walker community, and there were hardly any people around to be seen. Very similar to how Lee's situation was when he first arrived in Clementine's hometown. Anybody up there? Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Hello? Anybody? This whole neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? One of the last price of virus alive was Clementine. And then the same situation happened in Macon. We went to Macon, there was no humans to be found. Only the undead roamed the streets at that point in time. And this type of thing doesn't happen overnight. The walkers do spread it pretty quickly, but it will still take them several days to encase in the whole entire neighborhood like this, or just like everywhere basically at this point. So I think some time has passed. In the original Walking Dead storyline, we never see how the walkers actually take over. We're looking at the world through Rick's eyes and Rick just wakes up right into the thick of it. But there is another show out there that does touch base on it, Fear the Walking Dead, where we actually do get to see these things kind of play out. And uh, through that show, it just it's more evidence that it does take at least at least three days for the walkers to basically take over a whole neighborhood like they have here. And some more evidence here, when Lee actually talks about Clementine in a particular scene, I forgot which one, he mentions that she had been surviving by herself in the treehouse for several days. I'm stuck to it. He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Better get back to getting this guy's medicine. Hmm. Take your time. And this is in old school times. This is the 21st century, the land of social media and media in general. There's no, I don't see how it's possible how something this big going down in a neighboring town next to Atlanta and the people of Atlanta have no idea what's happening, okay? Like this stuff is going down here, but Atlanta's seemingly unaffected. Especially in a city this big, with this much crime, when this highly populated area, the Walker virus will have a chance to even spread even faster, because there's more chances for more people to get the virus, and it's the exponential growth from there. And Lee having no idea what a Walker is, like this is his first time seeing a Walker, I mean he hasn't even heard whispers about the Walkers or even his hometown of Macon. Now, Lee, he is probably incarcerated at this point, but it's not prison, okay? He's not isolated from the world. He's in a county jail. And news this big, I think, would have filtered through the jail cells. Man. I think things were just getting started with Atlanta when we see all those police cars heading the opposite direction as Lee's transport is going, uh, claiming to be a riot in Atlanta and uh, for everybody who's available to help out with the situation. So that may have been our first glimpse of uh, things going to hell in Atlanta. Be advised, uh, 
Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. Now also we have the officer here. How does that make sense that the officer is just now reanimating? Well, the reanimation of walkers is a very fickle process. It can range from different times. I think the longest I think I've ever heard of was like around eight hours was the maximum. So uh, my thoughts on this, if it has been several days to keep this uh, theory going, basically, is that the police officer, just like Lee, may have been knocked out for an unknown amount of time. He grabs his gun and gets out the car through the window. You can see when he's a walker, both, both his legs are broken, so he's unable to move, okay? He could have possibly been stuck there for a while, calling out for help. And someone does respond eventually, but it's not someone looking to help him, but looking to eat him. And that's when he finds the walker there and tries to kill the walker. But it doesn't turn out that way, and he ends up getting bitten instead. And at that moment, he dies there. And Lee approaches him. He reanimates to become a walker. Uh, officer? Uh, uh, holy shit! All right, guys, and that about sums up my thoughts about this question right here. Uh, one thing that we do know for sure is that uh, Lee did wake up way before Rick did, uh, seeing that um, Glenn, as a reference, hasn't even joined uh, met up with Rick's group at this point in the storyline. He's still with us, and then he, by the end of episode one, he travels over to Atlanta to probably run into somebody from Rick's group along the way. Okay, so uh, I want to hear your thoughts about this. How long do you think Lee was unconscious for in the back of that cop car? It's pretty interesting to think about and seeing that he has very similar uh, beginnings as uh, Rick Grimes did. As far as being on the opposite side of the law, though, he's a criminal as far as uh, Rick being a police officer. But both of them waking up to one hell of an introduction to the uh, Walker apocalypse. Alright guys, so if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit me with a thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys again for another Walking Dead Wednesday. Game over, out. You okay? Just great, thanks.